Rachel Carson was born on May 27, 1907, and died young at 56 on April 14, 1964. She was born to a family of farmers in Springdale, Pennsylvania. She was born to a simple life with loving parents Maria Fraser McLean and Robert Warden Carson. As a child, Rachel spent a lot of her time exploring the nature of her family's 65-acre farm. As a young, avid reader, Rachel began writing stories at the age of eight. She often involved animals as her main characters. When she was 10, she had her first story published. Rachel attended a small school throughout 10th grade and graduated at the top of her class of 44 students. She attended college at Pennsylvania College for Women. She originally studied English, but soon switched her major to biology. She was a part-time student to help pay for tuition. She researched animals in a lab where she completed a dissertation on the embryotic development of the pronophores uh, in fish. She researched animals in a lab where she completed a dissertation on the embryonic development of pronophores in fish. She was going to earn her doctorate. However, she was forced to leave school to search for a full-time job to support her family during the Great Depression. Carson found a job at the U.S. Bureau of Fisheries where her primary responsibility were to analyze and report field data on fish populations and compose brochures and other readings for the public. Using her experience from research and consultations with multiple marine biologists, she was able to produce a steady stream of articles that were published in the Baltimore Sun and many other newspapers. However, her responsibilities soon increased in 1937 when her older sister passed away, leaving Carson the primary provider for her two nieces and mother. In July that same year, Atlantic Monthly chose one of Carson's essays to be published in their paper, this being an original essay she wrote for the Fisheries Bureau brochure. This became a major turning point in her writing career. The publishing house Simon and Schuster was impressed with her article advising to expand her writing and turn her popular article into a book which had fantastic reviews but sold poorly. Carson later rose within the Fish and Wildlife Service and by 1945 she was supervising a small writing staff as well as becoming the chief editor of publications in 1949. This position came with more opportunities for fieldwork and the freedom to choose her own writing projects. However, this also entailed increasingly tedious administrative responsibilities. In 1948, Carson was already working on gathering materials for her second book. This led to her making the decision to transition to writing full-time. Within the same year, she took on a literary agent. Throughout this writing process, they had formed a close professional relationship that would carry on throughout Carson's career. The Oxford University Press took an interest in Carson's book proposal for a life history of the ocean. This manuscript would later become The Sea Around Us. Silent Spring was Carson's most influential book, published by Houghton Mifflin on September 27, 1962. This book discussed the negative and harmful impacts pesticides have on the environment. This book helped mark the start of the environmental movement. Carson was not the first or only person concerned about the environment and how it is being impacted by human creations. But what drew people to her writing was due to the combination of her scientific knowledge and poetic writing, which reached a broad audience, which helped spread the word of conservation. Sadly, 
Carson was weakened by breast cancer and the treatment she had to endure and became ill from a respiratory virus at the beginning of 1964. Her condition severely worsened and in February the doctors found that she had severe anemia from the radiation treatments. In March, doctors discovered that her cancer had spread to her liver. Carson later died from a fatal heart attack on April 14, 1964 in her Silver Springs home in Maryland. Rachel Carson had a major impact on the generations after her. She paved the way for research on chemicals and other types of pollution that people are putting out in the environment. Her words brought attention to the problems many were not discussing at the time. Her writings brought people together to fight pollution at the time. Sadly, Carson was weakened by breast cancer and the treatment she had to endure and become ill and became ill from a respiratory virus at, be at the beginning of 1964. Her condition severely worsened and in February the doctors found that she had severe anemia from the severe anemia from all of the radiation treatments. In March, doctors discovered that her cancer had spread to her liver. Carson later died from a fatal heart attack on April 14, 1964 in her Silver Springs home in Maryland. Rachel Carson had a major impact on the generations after her. She paved the way for research on chemical and other types of population she paved the way for research on chemicals and other types of pollution that people are putting out in the environment. Her words brought attention to the problem many her words brought attention to the problems many were not discussing at the time. Her writings brought people together to fight pollution at the time. Her writings brought people together to fight pollution.